Hello, I'm Drawing Pin, and welcome back to Out There Oceans of Time, where of course in the last episode we just finished up landing on this planet and we got a mineral area, so we got a ton of minerals together. We managed to process those down and as a result our cargo hold is pretty nicely stocked with a bunch of gold and copper and iron, a bunch of other good stuff. Uh, the only thing we don't have anything spare is fuel. Uh, we've got oxygen, we've got some iron to repair the hull and make some upgrades. Uh, we just need some uh, fuel now as well would be really nice. Uh, we did also jump through like a wormhole, I think it was, and we ended up back down here. I think we're like over here or something like that. Or was it there? Yeah, I think it was there with that big line, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, we kind of... Oh, do we... No, we accelerated, didn't we, or something, away from something, and it kind of put us way back down here. I think that was what it was. Uh, we did jump through a wormhole as well, uh, which took us over to there. That was it. Went through a wormhole, went to there... And then we accelerated away from like some spores or something that were growing on the ship and we ended up over there. So um, yeah, so we'll try and make our way to the location of the attack here. Um, but there is also a civilized planet that we want to go to rich in opportunities. So we may as well check that out as well. Uh, for all you Trigon fans as well, we are going to continue that on. Don't worry about that. Uh, I just wanted to give this a few episodes to get it going. Um, and then I'm thinking about in the next day or two, we'll probably alternate between this and Trigon. So one day this, the next day Trigon and so on. Uh, so you've only got two space roguelikes, different flavors, different takes, but still kind of spaceship roguelikes, if that makes sense. So we will go back to that and we'll do a free play on uh, Trigon. So let's go to the free civilized planet and we'll see what rare opportunities we have here. Be kind of nice if we had a better ship. Although to be honest, I kind of like the look of this ship. It looks pretty cool. Uh, so do we just land? Ooh, we get like five morale if we land. That's something that we're not doing great on is morale. So, well, let's land and find out what uh, goes on. Ooh, it's like Coruscant, isn't it, in um, Star Wars? That's like uh, the main planet of the Republic and so on. It's like a big planet city, isn't it? Explore the city, recruit, trade, take off. Uh, let's explore the city first. Every alien we encounter here walks in a very odd manner. We don't know whether it's a gate of or, or a dance of some kind. In the middle of the large plaza, we attempt to stage an impromptu group uh, choreography. Uh, the locals uh, seem uh, willing to try and uh, st try to stay request, and uh, at the end, everyone is involved and has a good time. Dance together. Okay, so your reputation on this planet is increased. Don't know what that does, but. Okay, so trade and recruitment. Hmm. Reputation, good. I wonder if that means we can get better like recruits or something. Um, so what's that going to cost me? Uh, crew capacity is two of two. Oh. Oh, we need to build like quarters or something then, don't we? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, let's have a look what we've got anyway. Star therapy, one crew member loses one action point, heals three points for one expedition member. Okay, I think we want some of these guys, don't we? Because uh, they are these, um, oh, it's like Xeno linguists or something. We definitely want some of those. So uh, that would be good. I kind of like you've got a lot of health. Uh, crew member gains positive status effect for one row. Removes negative effects for one expedition member. Removes me So you remove debuffs. So like the bleeding and stuff would be kind of nice. That's pretty good. Uh, removes negative effects uh, from two. Ooh, that sounds good. And then heals one crew member for one action point previously used by the caster. Hmm. Quite like that, that you can remove uh, negative effects from two members. They all sound pretty good. Uh, anyway, we're not going to be able to do much unless we can build, like, crew quarters or something. Mess hall? Ooh, do we not have that? Sick bay, relaxation pot. Okay, so I don't think we can build crew quarters yet anyway. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. These are all cargo slots, so it's not really going to matter. Okay, fair enough. So I can't get rid of anybody anyway, because I can't get rid of the main two. They're the main protagonists. So, all right, that's a bit of a shame. Never mind. Well, let's go to the trade then, and we'll see what we can trade. We're trading with a... I love the aliens in this game, though. They really feel alien-y. I mean, is that not more alien than a crystal with five or six crystals floating around it? I mean, that's totally alien, isn't it? I do really like the alien design in this game. They're not just, you know, don't want to brag on Star Trek, but they're not just some guy with pointy ears on. I know it was the 60s when it was made, so that's probably more technological limitations than anything else, but um, yeah. Um, okay. 
Ooh, recruit dormitory. Blueprint, uh, common shared, comfort minus 10, crew capacity plus 3. Oh, that's really nice. That's a rare blueprint. What does this stuff actually cost me? It's like, what does that cost me? Oh, so I'm going to have to give you... What about if I give you, like, gold? Wow. About two bits of gold. Alright. Okay, so we could trade for that. Uh, what about... Hang on. What about these things? Just an alien textbook. Can I just do anything with that? Small cube, diamond, apple. So I'm assuming this stuff is probably just tradable. Uh, let's have a look in the shop, actually. Is there any way... Sorry, not in the shop, in the ship. Blueprints, refineries. Is there any way of looking at my inventory crew? Yeah, I want to look at what's in my inventory. Okay, never mind. I'm just going to sell those things. I think they're just, you know, tradable commodities. So let's get rid of those. Small cube, small cube, alien textbook. Small cube. We have like a diamond apple. I feel like that'd be worth a lot of money. Diamond apple. I think this crew, this dormitory would be really nice. Um, I want to recruit another crew member. I don't know whether that's good because minus 10 comfort might be a bit of an issue. But there we go. Uh, botanical complex uh, so kind of features a laboratory where plants can be uh, analyzed to discover new ooh, discover new flower types before starting to store it. Okay. Um, shield capacitor. Uh, sorry, uh, thermal resonator generator. Proof shield generators. Uh, re uh, technology that reduces fuel consumption by allowing them to. Ooh. Ooh, that sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Alright, so we're going to trade a lot of crap then, aren't we? So these are all objects that I want to use, so I don't want to do that. I'm going to give you my gold. There we go, let's make the trade. Let's buy those two blueprints, that's good. And I think we'll probably just leave it there for the moment. Um, some of the other stuff would be nice, but... I think I'm just going to leave it there for the moment. So I could put some crew quarters in, but we are... Oh, I can't. Oh, right, I need, like, a ton of carbon. Never mind. Okay. Well, then, let's just take off, because there's not much else I can do here, so we might as well take off. Let's go. Uh, we've done what we can, and then we're going to go to the galaxy, and we're going to make our way... Let's go there next, and we'll make our way to the... Um, uh, to the crash site, or the attack site. Uh, the cosmic folder malfunctioned during the jump, leaving us trapped in interstellar dimension. Uh, the machines used to send us between dimensions. It's a uh, luminous, large swirls of cosmic cloud approach the ship. Uh, we can uh, we can see dimensional gates all around us. It is a fascinating as it is terrifying. Fly towards it or do nothing. Well, if we're stuck, doing nothing seems... Pro I'm going to fly towards it. Uh, we spur the ship towards the gate, reaching it before it folges. Uh, we return to normal space. We're not in, we're not at our destination, at least. How oh, great! We've just moved, haven't we? Oh, son of a biscuit, man! <laughs> how many times is this going to happen? <laughs> well, I do need some fuel, so I guess that's not a bad thing. But yeah, sitting there doing nothing when you're stuck seems bad to me. So um, yeah, right. We're going to take some hull damage, but that's going to be okay. Uh, I'm just going to try and hopefully get to the um, spaceship in a couple of jumps, but it doesn't look like it doesn't look like the game wants that to happen. So, yeah, this thing's almost broken. Let's burn some fuel, and that is broken. Let's get that in there. It's okay. We got to repair this thing, fix that up, and then we could just put that in there as well. I think I may have wasted a little bit, but that's fine. And then we could probe again. Let's probe again. And then we can take that stuff, and then we'll put the rest of that in there, like so. Yeah, so we gained 10 fuel. That's fine. Let's stop the probe, and we'll go to the other planet. It's going to take us a little bit of damage on the old hull, but um, I think it's worth it. Hopefully. And then let's just use 7 fuel, and we'll get some of that back. Drop that in there. Still got nine. Hmm. We could dump a bunch of oxygen in there, couldn't we? Yeah, let's free up all the oxygen. We'll take some fuel with us. That's fine. 
Okay, let's get out of here and we're going to make our way back to this way, which I guess actually is not bad because at least these are unexplored planets. Just hopefully we don't have to come this way back when the, for the next objective. Uh, we'll see. We might be able to get there, actually. Oh, God. All right. Okay, our ship draws close to a tumbling asteroid dotted with artificial structures. A mining colony scans reveal no trace of life anywhere. Hack the onboard computer. So we get alien world. My morale goes down. Steel resources, we get more fuel morale that goes down. Change the directory to avoid it. I think I'm going to go with this alien world thing. Morale is getting a little bit low, so I'm a little bit concerned about that. But let's go with that. Uh, a new word has learned. Oh, right, okay. So we've just learned a new word. That's a bit like, um, uh, what was it? Uh, Think of a Bob. Yeah, that was it. Um, no Man's Sky, isn't it? You learn words slowly. And then uh, their gibberish kind of became... Um, you know, more uh, you could understand some of the words that they were saying to you. Not that it was gibberish, it was an alien language, obviously, but uh, yeah. Alright. Let's come down to here. Let's land here. If we can get our old ship back eventually. Uh, let's drill for resources. I'm just going to go like six, because I don't desperately need any. Uh, let's transfer all of those. We will put... Uh, we don't have any oxygen, of course. I might convert that to a two yeah let's to convert that to the last storage slot so we are really loaded on stuff but there we go i think we're okay then we've got fuel we've got we've got repairs we've got oxygen yeah i think we're good to go that's fine let's get out of here then and then i want to make my way can i get ah it's just out of range okay let's go there then so we lose five morale with every drop we need to uh Need to start thinking about getting some morale up. That's going to be one of the next things. Um, it's going to damage the ship, so I'm just going to leave that, I think. We know it's there if we need it. There's fuel there, so we're all good to go. So I think let's go to the uh, Red Dwarf, and we'll go to the uh, where the attack was. I think that's a good idea. Uh, officer, look, I've got a visual on the ship. Ah, yeah, we've already seen this. I'm just going to skip this by, I think. Um, yeah, we've already seen that, so uh, that's fine. Um, let's go here. Oops, sorry, I don't want to look at the ship. Uh, so we've got, a, got that. We've got two rocky planets. Yeah, we don't have an ultra probe for that thing, but that's fine. So we could get some more stuff off there. It's pretty good. I wonder, can we... Can we transfer some of our stuff over here and then go to the, go with this ship to the other place and do some drilling and stuff? Yeah, again, we've found the ship. Uh, we've already seen this in the first episode, so I'm just going to skip these uh, cutscenes by. Uh, we'll get a new cutscene. We'll uh, continue on with it, but um, yeah. So we're just going to take this one over. Yeah, okay. Right, I guess actually, well, I'll kind of skip them now, haven't I? But I'll just leave them up, and if you guys haven't read that, just pause the video and you can read them, but uh, we'll just go back and watch my first video either way. <laughs> it's fine, but uh, yeah, we've already seen all of this anyway, so I think probably just skipping them by, but um, I don't know. Let me know what you want to do. Uh, keep them on screen so you guys can read them or uh, skip them. I personally would just skip them by because I've already seen it, but um, you know. And there we go. So we've got this thing. This thing is damaged, so let's fix that straight away. We've already got some stuff on there. Ooh, we've got luxury room, so we've got an extra crew capacity. Is that different to last time, isn't it? I swear that's different to last time, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's different to last time. There was no damage. There were like damaged modules last time as well, wasn't there? So, can I build... Uh, we have a hydrogen probe. We have a drill. So we have a drill on a hydrogen probe. We didn't have that last time either. Huh. Interesting. Okay. It's got 22 slots the same. Its ecosystem is not as good, but its performance and comfort are just so much better. So that's really going to help us out in the long run. So uh, interplanetary reactor capable of interplanetary travel. So we need that thing, right? So let's build that over there. I'm tempted to kind of build this thing up, leave it floating. We'll drop some of our stuff off and go and tour the rest of the galaxy with this ship. Um, whilst it's still got hull and oxygen and everything. And then we'll transfer over to this ship. 
um, later on. I don't know whether that's going to work, but I'm tempted to give it a go. Uh, refinery, let's build that as well. And then we will build a geoscanner or a telescope. We'll build a geoscanner, I think. There we go. And then we can build the telescope as well. There we are. That's good. So we've built up this ship. Uh, I'll say I'm kind of tempted to kind of just drop like that over there. I don't want to drop all of my resources, but I'll take these ones, manually do them. There's probably a, can I just click there? There's probably a quicker way of doing it. I don't want to transfer them all over, but um, I do want to transfer some of them over. I'm hoping then that that will stay here, and I can then go off, go to another, ooh, go to another part of the galaxy. No, what are we doing? Oh, we're looking at where we... Yeah, yeah, okay. We're looking at where we're going. So, yeah, we should be able to swap over, right? I'm going to hope that that's the case. And then I can hit these two planets up, get some more iron together. Um, we might be able to find an expedition or something. And then we'll take over that one later. Use up the fuel and stuff that we've got in this. Because I don't think the fuel or anything transfers over. I don't think. So, yeah. So, yeah, let's, do, let's try that. I know that's a good idea, but I, it seems like it is. Anomaly. And then, ooh, anomaly. Oh, wow, those are really close together, aren't they? So we've got a minerals, and we've got a wreck. Uh, minerals and blueprints. I think we'll go for that one, because I've got plenty of minerals. We're going to land on the planet and drill, so, yeah, let's do that. I think that's fine. I think that's okay. And, yeah, we'll land. We'll do an expedition. And then we'll go back to that ship. Hopefully that's all good. As far as I'm aware, it should be. So um, there we go. Let's go there. We'll put you to the party. Oh, you have nothing. Hang on. Give you this swiftness thing. Uh, what did the flask do? Uh, just improved vision for two rounds. Nah. Nah, I like the swiftness things. We get an extra. We get a chance to move a bit faster. So I think we'll go with that. And then you've got the drill. Geological radar, holograph scanner. Hmm. Object complete status has been completed. Improved vision field for one. Uh, swiftness increases speed. Drill. Well, we're not... If we were on that, um, like, loads of, um, uh, you know, resources to drill up, that's definitely a good one. But uh, I don't think it, I don't think it's worth it. Resource vein has revealed the crew and gained six extra experience points. Ooh. I kind of like that as well, but again, we're not on that uh, planet. I'm going to go with this thing. Let's go with that. And then let's uh -huh. add you to the party. Let's get going. So we've got a chance of bleeding and asphyxiating. So i going to keep an eye on that. And then, yeah, hopefully we could get a recruit another person. Potentially going back to that uh, planet that had, um, that had a trade on it might be the way to go. Um, right, there's something emanating from there, so let's go this way. Oh, uh, that's gotta be yeah, that's gotta be death, hasn't it? All right, let's see if we can find a way that doesn't hurt us. Oh, there we are. That's good. Let's move this way, and we'll grab some loot out of these boxes. Got found a drill. Okay, that's gonna hurt me again. And oh, nice, some resources. Let's grab those. That's all good. And then yeah, that's gonna hurt me so I'm going to go that way try and avoid anything that's trying to damage me if we can if we have to run over it we have to run over it but yeah I'd like to not if possible get damaged by anything ah there we go grab some more resources it's all cool if we go back this way ah it's just that again that's fine so we're looking for star shower and we need two of his action points to do that oh more resources okay that's cool Ah, star shower, there we go. That's what we're looking for. I say, we'll try and walk back again as well. Um, there we go, while seeking a uh, downed satellite, our expedition draws near uh, in an area that experiences near constant rain of falling meteorites thrown out of orbit from the system's asteroid belt. Uh, seeing the continual atmospheric barrage upon a uh, give us pause. Uh, one asteroid striking the wrong spot will uh, mean certain death for us all. However, the satellite is rumoured to contain important intel. Send a survivalist, create a shield. 
Well, it's one of those things, so I'm going to go with that. Let's create a shield. Our engineer thinks they can construct an energy uh, field capable of deflecting falling asteroids. Their skill in the field uh, inc uh, is, is incredible, and uh, their machine they cobble together. Okay, appears to work. That's great. So the risk of the journey themselves crossing the asteroid strike zone. Uh, we watch anxiously as rocks fall on them. Okay, confident in all manner. Oh, so we just grabbed that and we got a superconductor technology blueprint. Oh, nice. That's pretty cool. We lost two action points and we just found 15 minerals as well. Damn. it's pretty good. That up to our morale. That's good. So let's walk back and we may have to take some damage on this one. No, no. That's fine. I'm just going to go back to the ship, I think. We'll ignore the rest of it. Yeah, maybe we could get through this way. Oh yeah, look, there's a loot box there. Ooh, there's something else as well. Hmm. Okay, that's good. Let's let's run through or risk it. Yeah, there we go. That's good. We found something else. And we can do that. Alright, so there's get the creature's attention and this position comes across a perplexing shipwreck a vessel of unknown origin which to all appearances uh, make made a crash landing complete surrounded by, by a vast bubble of thin transparent material interesting beyond the barrow we can see a spiny a spindly creature moving about working on the ship are they survivors Ooh, analyze the bubble let's go with that our engineer easy seduces the bubble's purpose. They explain that it's a shield against foreign pathogens, uh, often used by immu immunologically frail species. Uh, they manage to sterilize the members of the expedition. After running their own scans, the inhabitants of the bubble allows us to enter the airlock. Oh, what's more, our engineers goes above and beyond their uh, call of duty and going as far as to examine the uh, the reformulate uh, several of the planned ships. Okay, yeah, I'm not sure what that is. Okay. Do we get a crew member? Oh, damn. The crew found one holographic scanner. Okay. Fair enough. I thought I might get a crew member, but never mind. That's fine. Can't win them all. Ooh, we got uh, swiftness has been activated. That's great. So, yeah. Let's just run back. I think this place is pretty well much cleared. There might be something down there, but... Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's do that. We'll do some drilling. Yes. Go aboard. We'll do some drilling, and then uh, we'll possibly go and salvage that ship then. Morale has gone up. That's great. Got some T... We've got a T set. Got a drill, holographic scanner. Yeah, I think those are just sail items. That would be my guess. And a conductor as well. Nice. Interesting. Let's go drill. I'm just going to go five. Transfer all. That's fine. Stop, and I think I'm just going to take off. Let's take off. Hmm. Should we go to the other one? No, let's go to the other one. Might as well. Do we have any anomalies on this one? No, we don't. Um. Yeah, it's only going to cost me four fuel. We might as well drop land and get some more uh, materials together, and then we'll go to the ship. And we'll take over that ship and build up what we can on it, I think. I think just, you know, comfort-wise, it's probably the one to go for, isn't it? Let's go like there, because we're going to burn the drill out, so... There we go. That's fine. Let's take off again, and we'll go and commandeer the new ship. Hopefully this all works. We can then just go and get that abandoned ship. All of our stuff is on there. And, yeah, this wasn't a huge disaster. <laughs> but it might be. Yeah, okay, that's cool. So, let's embark onto that ship. And then we want to transfer, load up all of the cargo from that one onto this one. Ah, we also want to process all of that. Let's enter the refinery. Process all of this stuff. Let me get the hole repaired and everything then as well. We top the oxygen. Yeah, because like you're stuck with 30 fuel and that. The fuel and that's from this one, as far as I can tell, doesn't transfer over doesn't transfer over. So yeah. It's a bit of a shame. Oh wow. That's a lot, isn't it? You can repair this one with copper as well. Interesting. Okay. 
Let's transfer all. Let's repair the hole with that one and repair the hole with that as well. There we go. That's good. And then we may as well stock this thing up with fuel and we'll stock it up with oxygen as well. So fuel is something we're def desperately going to need. Uh, that much I can tell you. Um, and then yeah, let's transfer that cargo over and then I guess we should just disassemble... Oh, there was like a disassemble everything on that ship, wasn't there? There we go. Transfer over what we can. And then, shall we make more cargo slots? Because we're going to need it. Uh, we could go, we've got that, which gives us an extra crew capacity and more comfort. We could build another thing, a mess hall, gives us some more comfort. That would be kind of nice. Relaxation pod. Um, luxury room would be good, wouldn't it? But I don't have the resources for that, so never mind. Um, I think probably the mess hall. It's five copper and two, uh, was it cobalt, I think. Yeah, let's build that. Let's get that built. And then we've got our comforts nice. Charges to morale and next voice. So we should get plus four each time right so it's a lot more comfortable this ship uh, so that's cool and then i'm going to turn this into a storage module and then we can move all of that over we split the stack and we'll just chuck some of that up there put that on there actually i might just chuck yeah let's just chuck all that in there actually thinking about it it's probably the way to go and then we could go and build some of this stuff we need platinum though i think it is don't we so yeah. Uh, ooh, legendary blueprint. Superconductor. Huh. Interesting. Can I not build that? I've already got that. Or... Yeah, I don't have that. Hmm. Interesting. It doesn't show anything. So. Oh, it requires a shield generator. Never mind. It's uh, obviously an add on. Yeah, it's a buff for the shield generator. That's fine. Right. We've got everything we need. Let's get going. We're a lot more comfortable. So, which way are we going? Yeah, we're going back the way we came pretty much, didn't we? So, should we go there? Yeah, our morale goes up at least. So, every time we travel now, we are losing oxygen, but we're not losing morale. So, yeah. Okay. And we've got one of those Omegas as well. So, if we get, get into trouble, we can always use one of those. Oh, oh, hello, what's that? Storage array? Covering lost settings? Another abandoned ship? Oh, damn, I've just... Okay, alright. I've just been to a bloody ship where... Okay, um... Yeah, let's go to the oxygen planet. We'll get our oxygen up. So that's looking a little bit low. Everything's kind of looking a little bit low, but... There we go. Uh, land... Yeah, it's like, what, I've just tra transferred ship. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to transfer to again, but maybe we may, maybe we will. If it's got more slots, if it's better than our ship, I think we're going to have to. So, uh, you know, that's just the way it's going to be. Uh, I'm just going to use five again. I don't want to burn too much in the way of fuel. Uh, let's just transfer all of that. Um. That's oxygen. We don't have any fuel, do we, either? Yeah, that's an interesting problem. I don't want to do all of that. Just put, like, a little bit in there. Um, I guess we'll turn this into a... Uh, what do we need to turn it back? So we need silicon and... Yeah, okay. To do that one. That's okay. Still got one technology slot open. That's fine. Um, yeah, so with more slots would be really nice. We've retopped the oxygen as well, so I think that's fine. Let's take off. And then, oops, sorry, that galactic view. We want to go there. And we've been to that one. I'm not sure what that is, but recovering lost settings. Hmm. I wonder if that's a save point or something. Might be. Um... Yeah, let's go to the uh, fuel planet because we don't have a lot of that. And we'll do a bit of probing because uh, we really need some. We really, really need some fuel. So I think that's the first thing to go for. Probe. I'm gonna go like right up to like nine. Oh wow, that did not really do a lot for me, did it? Let's 
probe again. I'm going to go like seven. Yeah, okay, that lost me fuel that time. Okay. All right, well, we got a little bit of fuel. That's the worrying thing. Uh, rocky, rocky planet. I don't desperately... I've got iron. I've got everything. I'm going to hold off on that stuff. And we'll go to this storage. I guess we should go to the check out the... Let's go to this storage thing because I have no idea what it is. So uh, let's go check that out. It's this thing here, whatever that is. Ooh, it looks like the Atlas. Oh, it's a save point. Oh, so it is a save point. Okay, cool. All right, so maybe it's not a roguelike anymore. I kind of thought it was, but uh, maybe it's not. Um, okay, so we can save. Oh, okay, so I can save from here. It looks like the Atlas from uh, No Man's Sky, doesn't it, a bit as well. So let's go and check out this abandoned ship then. We should really go and check that out. What is this thing? Oh, my God. Ooh, I kind of like it. It looks cool. <laughs> it looks really weird, but I kind of like it. Let's have a look at it. Uh, it's got 18 slots. Nah. Nah. Let's take the fuel out of it, though. We'll drop that into ours. Uh, it's got this relaxation pod. I think we'll just disassemble everything and take it with us because it's got good performance and its ecosystem is good, but everything else in its slot count is just awful, so... No, we'll just disassemble everything on this one, I think. There we go. And then we'll transfer as much of that stuff over as we can. And then we'll use that just to repair our hull a little bit. That's all good. That's fine. All right, that's good. Yeah, if it had bigger slot count, definitely. It's got some damaged ones as well. So, yeah, definitely not worth it. I like it, though. It looks pretty cool. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're not going to go with that. So let's go, and really we've got to revisit one of these planets again, haven't we? There's not really much else we can do about that, so... It's out of range, yeah, fair enough. That is within range. Kind of want to go somewhere different, so... Yeah, let's go there. Let's go there. It's cool though, we've got a save point. That's good, so if we die we've got... Uh, at least we've got that down. Um... I mean, I guess there could be an anomaly, an anomaly there, but I don't desperately need any of the resources. But at the same time, let's go and check that one out. I was going to check one of them out. There might be an anomaly there that we can land and get some more blueprints or something. Um, oh, there we go. Perfect. Let's scan. Nope, back this way somewhere. Nope. Come on. There we go. And where is the next one? Uh, over this side, by the look. No. Yep. No. There we go. Perfect. We scanned everything. So, ooh, that's a three skull mission. Don't like the look of that one. Um, can I have a look at that one, though? Oh, they're up the top there. Fair enough. Beta anomaly. So I just get object. Hmm. And minerals. We get blueprint, yeah. Well, we're going to land anyway. We'll do some drilling. I think we might go for a uh, might go for a stroll and risk it. We've got it saved. Why not? Let's let's try it. I don't want to die if I can help it, obviously. But um, I think you know we've got that saved down now. I think that's fine. So yeah, we'll go with that. And then you, we need another crew member now as well. Um. I think I'm just going to stick with that. Although we are mining stuff up, aren't we? But nah, we'll go with that. It worked last time. Let's go with it. Now, if we get desperate, we can always um, call the ship over. But um, I want to try and avoid that, as I say, if possible. So they should be like... Oh. So that's three. I don't want to use his skill until we get to... Because if we use the... That's going to potentially use up all of his stuff, if that, if that makes sense, his action points. So, I don't necessarily want to do that. Ooh, hello. Let's go there, though. Uh, on our expedition, you come across the strangest residence, a magnificent villa apparently built by a wealthy hermit and maintained by an army of robots. A mechanical butler guides you to the lord of the estate, who has been dead for centuries. It's where the corpse sits in the patio, overlooking a view of quite an unrare... 
And resume here. Okay. So there's just somebody, guys, just mate, all right. Overcome the robot, trick the robot. I mean, kind of, I don't know about this. Try and overcome the robot. What a lone strike at uh, the most vulnerable place. Our survivors would use the robot. We depart with this sinister resident in peace. Uh, so the crew found the dormant. Uh, okay, so we just found a little thing. Never mind. Lost some action. Play. Oh, God. This server's going to want to make me bleed there. So let's try and make our way round. So I'm going to try and avoid that. It is only like a percentage chance. So, uh, you know, I don't mind that. But at the same time, I don't necessarily want to risk it. If, if we can avoid damage, then... I think that's the more sensible option to go for, isn't it? There we are. Let's move into this zone and just see... Nope, nothing there. I didn't see what we actually got out of there, but never mind. Let's grab some of these minerals next. You never know, they might become useful. And then, yeah, spikes. Anything? Can we get past this way? Yes, we can. Let's go that way. Grab those minerals as well. Let's keep making our move. We've got a box over there. Let's go that way. We haven't had swiftness activate. Oh. Oh, do we not have that? Oh, we've got like herbal tea thing. Oh, I think the uh, thing might be out of juice or something. I think we might need plants to restock it. Yeah, I found another drill. I mean, I got tons of drills. I could probably sell some of those, couldn't I? Although, again, they might just have limited uses, in which case, yeah, selling them might not be a good idea. Uh, oh boy. Alright, well. Let's run through this thing. For... Yeah, there we go. We nailed it. Uh, we've got swiftness as well, but uh, it's not really any use because I need to get here, so. Okay, our expedition comes upon the location of an ancient city. Vertical, but dug in the sky. Oh, that's the same thing we've had everywhere. So, track the minerals. Here's vertical labyrinth. Yeah, we've been to this one before. So found a bunch of that, so found a dehydrator and a load of minerals. It's pretty cool. Nice. The morale has gone up. That looks like a dead end to me, so it doesn't really see any point in running back there. Let's run through there. We've got swiftness. We've made it. That's great. Um, where is the ship? It's back this way, isn't it? We can't do anything there. We could go and visit it, though, and just... You never know. We might be able to get something out of it. Uh, let's take a run through there. Oh, boy. Okay, lose two points in four rounds. Lose two health points in four rounds. Okay, that's not too bad. And we're getting swiftness again a bunch of times. So let's go here. You never know, we might be able to... Don't approach us, of course, to explore the structure. Hmm... Valley below the expedition is by the ruins of an ancient metal complex. Yeah, we can't do anything there, so... This location is alarm enough without temporal distortions. Don't approach. Let's just not do anything. Found a little bit of minerals. I don't think it's worth risking it. Let's come back to here. Let's get in there. We lost two health, but that's fine. Yeah, let's get aboard. It's all good. So, the experience is painfully slow, isn't it? Dang. XP is already slow. Yep, there we go. Found some more stuff. Uh, can we... Oh, that's, got, that's nice. I like that. I can process all the minerals uh, before I put them on the ship. That's good. Doesn't require me to put them there. That is great. Uh, the iron we will just chuck straight into the hull. We might as well. Everything else I think we can store pretty well much. So we're all good there. Yeah, we can store everything else. It's actually pretty good. Uh, pretty good haul so far. Let's just transfer those. Transfer that. Ooh, hello. Platinum. I need some of that. Wow, this was a rich place, man. That's good. Let's throw that in there. I need that. I don't want to waste that. I guess I could do on something. Like on the hull or something. Yeah, let's use it. And then we'll put that there. And then I can use that to fix. Oh, it can give me oxygen. Okay, fair enough. It's odd, but yeah, alright. There we go. Wow, 14 oxygen. Holy moly. But I need that to build... 
Uh, yep, sorry, let's stop that. I need that to build something, didn't I? Yeah, I need three of those to build, like, gravitational sails. That's pretty cool, actually. Reduces the amount of uh, fuel that we've got. And I also need those for these. But I don't think I want to build too much on this ship, because I'm assuming we might be able to find another one like we just did. Um, so, you know, don't want to spend too much on this ship. But at the same time, if we need to, then we need to. Right, so we've been to these two. Let's go there and we'll just keep heading our way this way. Go there. Actually, the, I should have gone to the... Uh, should go to that one because that's where the shop is, I think, isn't it? So, uh, we intercept a machine drifting through space. It's working. Its workings appear quite beyond anything we've seen before. It's emitting a peculiar message. Uh, caution, do not activate. However, within our instruments, detect a small amount of Omega in its frame. Take apart the machine. Yeah. Force open. No one can say we ignored the warnings. Inside we discover a welcome quantity of Omega. What was the device for? Okay, well we found some of that. Um, I guess I could just throw it into the oxygen or the fuel. Uh, we don't have any fuel. Do we ever have any fuel? Do we have no fuel? No, we don't have any fuel, do we? Okay, well, let's throw it in the fuel then, because we've got some spare oxygen. Um, that's all good. Top that back up again. All right. And then we've got... Oh, there we go. I'm glad I didn't do oxygen, because uh, we've got an oxygen planet. So let's just land on that, shall we? Land on that and call it a video, I think. There's probably going to be some anomalies here now, isn't there? Nope, there isn't. Okay. Well, let's land. And well, that'll re instantly top up our oxygen, so that's great. Ooh, nice. Oh, I just banged my desk. <laughs> there we go. So, yeah, there we are. Hatch is open, all topped up nicely. We may as well drill, though. Do like a seven. Transfer all, that's great. So, we've got some more oxygen. Brilliant. That's excellent. I like it. Right, so we've got a new ship together. We've got a lot more in the way of resources now. I think we're looking pretty good so far. Um, I'll say I might get this sort of gravitational sails, which reduces the fuel cost, which would be kind of nice. Um, but I think at the moment, uh, you know, maybe we maybe we try and find another ship, but I guess that's random. So, um, you know, uh, but anyway, as I say, I think for now, this is where I'm going to call it anyway, and I'm going to end the episode. So if you like that one, please give me a thumbs up, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe for more. I really do appreciate it. Stay safe out there, everyone. And I'll catch you next time.